Star Wars A Tale from a Galaxy's Edge is so close, yet so far, from being a competent Star Wars VR experience. It's quite interchangeable with, say, your average VR shooter with a story. If it didn't have the Star Wars IP connected with it, you could realistically make a game that the exact same, with the exact same experience, and it would really be no different. When a game doesn't necessarily need the IP it's based off of, you can tell it's not that imaginative or original. It's still a very fun game, but not anything groundbreaking like say Vader Immortal was. I myself have played the game and I've had a couple problems with it. The cutscenes were com completely broken in some places. One cutscene when you save C-3PO, he backs out of a shuttle that houses objects to trade stuff with, and he falls out of it and you have to meet him around the other side of a mountain. For me, he fell outside of it and then he teleported back, but he was in like a laying down position. And then I had left the area and I went all the way around and he was there and it was completely fine. Um, another area, you would leave a shuttle, like leave the opposite side of a shuttle, and you get out to this new area. It was nothing was loaded in. I could see directly I could see directly through the map. And there were invisible walls everywhere. And it only fixed itself once I died and re reloaded in. And at first, I thought that it was like a dev testing area and I wasn't even supposed to be there. Because it seemed so out of place. But instead, it was literally just how the game worked. The game's rather glitchy and it's still a really good time. But it's so close. Yet so far away. From being a good Star Wars game. It's a good VR shooter, but it's not a good VR Star Wars game. The story itself is surfaceable, but not anything special. You don't really gain that much attachment to most of the characters, because they go in and out. The final boss doesn't seem like the final boss. It seems like a run-in with the main villain. And it ends really abruptly. It's like you're talking to C-3PO in R2-D2 while you're walking away. And then it just cuts to the credits, like nothing happened in between. There is an expansion pass coming out sometime in this year, but I don't know if that's really going to mend the wound that this game has already created. It does not seem like an expansion pass could really make this game any more worth playing. It seems like a free experience, but it's like 30 bucks. It is not worth the money. I would give it about a 6 out of 10. It's not worth your money, and it's it's not worth, I would say it's not worth being called a Star Wars game. It's still really fun, but it's nowhere near fun. It's nowhere near enough, uh, it's nowhere near creative enough to be considered as such. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom,